Totally different in shape and in size than the Sprint car, the late model. This one belonging to Rick Eckert out of York, Pennsylvania, is a full-bodied machine, 2,300-pound minimum with driver. Ah, full-body and robust. Look at this wide, sleek race car. Just a beautiful sight to see. Unlike the Sprint cars where everything is out in the open, all that sheet metal protects all the components underneath the race car. And unlike a Sprint car where the driver sits in the center of the machine, in a late model, you're offset to the left, just like you are in your daily driver. And you'll notice this big, this big spoiler on the back unlike the wing on the sprinter this is where all the downforce comes from and where does that come from well take a look at the front end see that big nose piece right there the air shoots right over that through the window and onto that rear spoiler you also notice that the nose clip is a little bit wider than the race car again to direct that airflow that nose clip you might replace that once twice maybe even more depending on how rough a season you have in the late model well the way that these chassis twist and turn picking up that left front tire bringing that nose down sometimes they dig in and some of those components are torn off looks like a giant cattle catcher out on the front of that late model machine inside the driver's cockpit yep it's tight it's confined just like you'd expect it to be complete with all the gauges and tacks to make sure that your motor is running hot but not too hot. And they don't need to be pushed off. They're self-starting, and they are uh, able to start that car right up in the cockpit and drive away. Hoosiers wrapped all the way around. Give you a big old rear set there to get the best grip you can on them dirt tracks across the country. And of course, suspension, the shock package and components are so important on these late models. The rear suspension actually flexes to help steer the car through the corner, because when you've got 2,300 pounds and 850 horsepower, you're on the gas. Throw on disc brakes all the way around on all four corners, plus throw on a thirsty four barrel carburetor, and guess what? You are ready to go. Late model racing with the world of outlaws.